All right, so you wanted to deep dive into green carpet cleaning. That's good. Yeah, you're really trying to get a better understanding of, you know, what it really means mm -hmm. to clean green, not just using eco-friendly products, right? Right. And you found some really interesting sources for us to look at. Yes. Including this article from Clean Facts magazine by Dr. Michael Derry. Okay. Now he's a former EPA scientist. Wow. Um, and, and he suggests that cleaning itself is fundamentally environmentally protective. Interesting. Yeah. And so I, I was really intrigued by that. And I wanted to uh, kind of dig into that a little bit more with you. Yeah, that's a, a bold statement for sure. So, um, you know, he he spent 28 years at the EPA. OK. So he knows a thing or two about this topic. And he kind of starts by defining the word environment in a way that that emphasizes our connection to it. OK. It's not separate from us. Right. right? Everything we everything we need comes from it. Hmm. And he uses this term topophilia which basically means a love for the environment. And he suggests that we all have that inherently, but he also points out that this can be exploited. Oh, how so? Well, he gives the example of marketing campaigns, you know, that use these beautiful images of nature yeah. to sell products that might not actually be environmentally friendly. Right, so greenwashing, essentially. Yeah, exactly. And so it's it's about looking beyond the surface and really digging into the science. Absolutely. And, and this is where he gets into, you know, kind of, the myth busting that he does in this article okay. um, and he tackles some common misconceptions about green cleaning mm -hmm. and some of these I have to say were were real eye openers for me. Oh, yeah, I bet. Like what? So so he dives into eight myths in total. OK, but let's kind of focus on a few that really stood out to me. OK, that's good. Um, one of them is this idea that cleaning is inherently polluting. Really? Now, that's a pretty bold statement. Yeah. It seems counterintuitive. It does. Because you think about cleaning and you think about making things better. Right. Not polluting. Yeah. But he he, he says that effective cleaning is actually the opposite of polluting. Hmm. He describes it as putting unwanted matter in its proper place. Oh, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. So it's not just about, you know, spreading things around or masking them with fragrance. Right. It's about actually removing the pollutants, the contaminants from the environment. And this, you know, directly connects to, to you know, you're interested in a healthy home. Sure. And think about carpets, right? They trap all sorts of things, dust mites, allergens, pollen, even chemicals that are tracked in from outside. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And so effective cleaning removes those things, mm. improving indoor air quality. Yeah, a great point. And he actually links, you know, proper cleaning to to reduce health problems, even that, lower lifetime cancer risks. That's significant. Pretty significant. Yeah. Um, okay, here's another one that I thought was really interesting. Okay. This idea that we need to conserve water and energy at all costs. Okay. Especially when it comes to cleaning. Um, and and he, he suggests that we need to be careful about how we approach conservation. Okay. Because focusing solely on reducing consumption mm. can actually stifle innovation. Oh, interesting. And and limit our ability to develop truly sustainable solutions. So it's not just about using less. Right. It's about using smarter. Yeah. Yeah. He makes the case that we have an abundance of resources like solar energy and water. Right. But we need smarter management and technological advancements uh, to harness them effectively. I see. So imagine like a high performance cleaning system that uses solar energy to power its equipment and recycles water on site. That would be amazing. Right. Yeah. So it's not about sacrificing cleaning effectiveness for the sake of conservation. Right. It's about finding innovative ways to achieve both. Got it. OK, let's tackle one more. OK. This, this assumption that green chemicals are automatically safe. Oh, yeah. We see those eco-friendly labels everywhere. Everywhere. Right. Yeah. And and he points out that just because something is labeled green mm -hmm. doesn't guarantee it's safe or even that it's effective. OK. He emphasizes that any chemical, natural or synthetic, can be harmful if it's misused or if it ends up in the wrong place. Right. And he uses the phrase, the dose makes the poison. OK. Meaning that even seemingly harmless substances yeah. can be toxic in high enough quantities. Makes sense. Right. So it's about using the right product for the job, following instructions carefully, mm -hmm. and considering the potential impact on both human health and the environment. Right. And and he also cautions against assuming 
that green products are always less effective. Yeah. He actually criticizes the green cleaning movement. Oh, really? For sometimes prioritizing chemical replacement uh -huh. over actual cleaning performance. Huh. So yeah. it's not just about swapping out the chemicals. Right. It's about making sure it actually cleans. It has to work. Yeah. Yeah. And it has to be good for the environment, too. Yeah. So he's saying we need to move away from this either mindset right. and, and embrace a more holistic approach okay. that combines both environmentally friendly practices and the effective cleaning techniques. He's saying we need a boat hand approach instead of an either. Exactly. Got it. And this leads us to the recommendations he outlines in the article. Okay, great. He has some specific advice for both consumers and cleaning professionals. Perfect, because we're both. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so for consumers like you, he really emphasizes the importance of doing your research. Okay. Don't just assume a company is truly green based on their marketing, you know. Right. Look beyond those slogans and eco-friendly labels. Yeah. What else, what else can consumers do to make informed decisions? Well, he suggests asking questions looking for evidence yeah you know of their environmental practices and even checking for third-party certifications okay so like those that verify a company's commitment to sustainability and you know responsible waste disposal exactly and he also recommends considering the bigger picture don't just focus on the individual product right but think about the company's overall practices and their commitment to transparency so understanding their whole approach not just a single aspect right Okay, so what about advice for cleaning professionals? Okay. What does he suggest they focus on? Well, he really emphasizes the importance of ongoing education and training. Okay. Staying up to date on the latest science, the technologies, the best practices. Mm -hmm. That's crucial for ensuring both effectiveness and environmental responsibility. So it's about continuously learning and evolving, not just sticking with the same methods. Exactly. Okay. And he also advocates for what he calls a high-performance cleaning mindset. Okay, what does that mean? So this means focusing on efficiency, effectiveness, and minimizing waste in every aspect of the cleaning process. Can you give me an example of what that might look like in practice? Sure. Imagine a carpet cleaning company that uses advanced equipment right. to precisely measure and apply cleaning solutions, Okay. reducing waste and ensuring optimal results. Okay. They might also invest in water recycling systems to minimize their water usage. So being smart and strategic about it. Right. Not just using more product or water than necessary. Exactly. And it's not just about the technical aspects either. Okay. He also urges professionals to be transparent with their clients, you know, mm -hmm. educating them about the science behind their processes and the environmental benefits of their services. That makes a lot of sense, building that trust and helping consumers understand the value of choosing a truly green cleaning service. Right. It seems like he's advocating for a real shift in the industry as a whole. He's definitely pushing for higher standards, evidence-based practices, mm -hmm. a genuine commitment to both cleaning effectiveness and environmental responsibility. Okay. He sees cleaning professionals as having a key role to play in driving this change. So bringing it back to your initial goal of understanding green carpet cleaning, yeah. what are the key takeaways here? Well, I think the key takeaway here is that truly green carpet cleaning is about finding that sweet spot where effective cleaning practices meet genuine environmental responsibility. So it's about going beyond the marketing hype and buzzwords. Right. And really understanding the science behind it all. Exactly. And being an informed and empowered consumer. Yeah. Making choices that align with your values mm -hmm. and contribute to a healthier and more sustainable environment. Absolutely. So it's not just about the products. It's about the entire process, the company's commitment, the science behind it all. Now, thinking about all this, this raises an interesting question. What's that? Well, Dr. Barry suggests that green certifications okay. should actually include proof of cleaning effectiveness, not just environmental considerations. Oh, that's interesting. So it's great to be eco-friendly. Yeah. But if it doesn't actually clean effectively, then what's the point? Exactly. So this leaves us with a challenge for you. Okay. As you continue your quest for green carpet cleaning solutions. All right. I'm ready. How can you, as a consumer, find services or products that meet this higher standard? That's a great question to consider as you move forward. Mm -hmm. How can you ensure that the choices you make are both good for the environment and effective at achieving the cleaning results that you need? It's a balancing act. It is. It's something that requires careful consideration, asking the right questions. Right. And looking beyond the surface. Right. But armed with the knowledge that you've gained from this deep dive. Yes. You're now better equipped to make those informed decisions. Yeah, it really highlights the fact that, you know, we as consumers, we have a lot of power. 
We do. You know, we yep. can choose to support companies that are truly walking the walk when it comes to green cleaning. And that's why doing your research is so important. Yeah. You know, don't just settle for vague claims or flashy marketing. Right. Look for companies that are transparent about their practices and willing to answer your questions. And if they can back it up with, you know, solid evidence certifications, that's even better. Absolutely. Because ultimately it's about finding those solutions that benefit both our homes and the planet. It's not just about feeling good about our choices. Yeah. It's about making choices that actually make a difference. Right. You know, I was thinking about this while we were preparing for this deep dive. Okay. Um, you know, my own cleaning routine. And I realized I've been kind of falling into that trap of just grabbing whatever is labeled eco-friendly mm, yeah. without really looking into it. I think we all do that. Yeah. It's easy to just assume that green automatically means better. Right. But like we've been talking about, it's yeah. more complicated than that. It is. And, you know, after after learning about, you know, Dr. Barry's insights, I'm realizing that I need to be more discerning. Yeah. I need to ask myself, is this product truly effective? Right. Is this company really committed to sustainability? Those are the right questions to be asking. Yeah. And, you know, it's an ongoing process it is. of learning and discovery. For sure. There's always more to explore, more to learn. Yeah. New innovations emerging all the time. Absolutely. So this deep dive isn't the end of the journey. It's just the beginning. It's a great starting point. Yeah. It's about staying curious, staying informed, and continuing to seek out those solutions that align with our values. And don't be afraid to share what you learn with others. Yes. You know, the more we can educate ourselves and each other about truly green cleaning, mm -hmm. the more we can drive positive change in the industry. That's a great point. Yeah. It's about empowering ourselves as consumers and advocating for better practices across the board. Absolutely. Well, that about wraps up our deep dive into green carpet cleaning. That was great. Hopefully you found it as insightful as I have. I did. We covered a lot of ground today. We did. But the main takeaway is that truly green cleaning is about finding that balance mm -hmm. between effectiveness and environmental responsibility. That sweet spot. It is. Yeah. It's about doing your research, asking questions, and making informed choices that align with your values. I love it. And remember, the journey doesn't end here. Keep exploring, keep learning, and keep striving for those solutions that create a healthier and more sustainable future for everyone. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive. Come check us out at magicwandcompany.com.